Yep, yeah, Atlanta's yeah. number one hip hop station. It's out on 7 9. Your dirty J Nick's Fly has got on the radio. And yes, I am Fly. And I got a Fly Libra brother with me right now. The album Libra is out mm-hmm. right now. Mr. T.I., what's going on, my what's brother? Going, what's going on, King? What's up, King? How, how everything going, man? Man, I can't complain, bro. You know what I mean? Pretty smooth for for X Con. Man, I'll tell you, man, Black Don't Crack, i tell you that, man. I went to your birthday party. You're still looking young like you just came out, man. Hey, man, listen. They say you ain't old till you're cold. You hear me? <laughs> so what's the key to staying young, man? How you, how you eating? You eating right? You eating different? What's going on? Uh, definitely, man. You know what I'm saying? They say when you when you stop moving it, you start losing it. So I just, you know, start, try to stay at it. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, working out, of course, you know, you got to get away from that meat, that red meat, and... You know, get into you got you got to start just paying attention to what you put into your body. You right, know, facts, man? facts. We are already smoking and drinking and doing things that you know has their uh, they kind of speed up a little bit of the wear and tear on the body over time. What you've been doing this since you're 15 and here you is about right. to turn 50. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> you know, Tell me about this new years worth of anything gonna have an effect on you. You know that. You know that. Tell me about this new album now. The legend is back running in Atlanta. Um, uh, we was just, man, you know, we've accumulated so many dope records that we felt that, you know, the rest of the world deserves to hear. What keeps you motivated, man, as far as keep making music? I mean, I know you always have a love for music, period, but what keeps you motivated after all the success you didn't have, the TV shows, and just, you know, you sitting on some paper. You good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, What's- it ain't even really the bread, though. You know, I got other things I could do if I want to, like, generate more income, but this is a sense of expression. It's somewhat therapeutic for me, you know, right. to do the songs, to do the, like, to, to continue to record. Um, now, putting it out, like, that's something I hadn't even thought about until people just kept on MLK, Mars, uh, Greg Street, everybody just keep, right. hey, man, when are you going to put this stuff out, bro? You know what I mean? And I just, you know, I figured, okay, well, I do it around my birthday. You know what I mean? Right. I'm turning 40, so I'm already going to be, you know what I'm saying, a big deal anyway, for me at least. Right. So I just extend that celebration with the release of some music as long as we make it the dopest shit out. You know what I mean? Right. Facts. And so that's what set us on our way. So who, for all the people that don't have the album, man, who can we expect to see on this album? Who's all on this album? Man, for one, for all the people who ain't got it yet, you're doing yourself a terrible disservice. I tell you what. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is what you're going to do. Go get, go get the motherfucker, right? For whatever it is you listen to your your, your music, whether it's Tidal, whether it's Spotify, Pandora, right. whether it's Apple Music, go get it and hit the button. <laughs> Talks you nothing. Do you hear me? And, uh, and listen to that and listen to it from the top all the way down. Okay. And I slide. guarantee you, I guarantee you, you do that, then you'll look better. Hey, you talking about, you talking about. So what's next for Grand Hustle, man? You and know most of you people is ugly and you need money. You need as much help as you can get to. You know? <laughs> I tell you that you will look better. You take my word for it. Because if I tell you it's ice cream on the moon, go get a spoon. You dig what I'm right. saying? Hey, you talking about. I said, for sure. pull a truck, hook him up. <laughs> what's next for Grand Hustle, man? You still got the artist, your son's rapping, man. What's next? Uh, yeah, we're incredibly proud of, uh, of the money and uh, excited about Tokyo Jets as well, um, and she went. And she slid on 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 number number two. Okay. She slid, uh, and he and he he damn near tried to put me out of business <laughs> and, uh, on the family connect. But that's what he' supposed to do, man. You know what I mean? Thanks. Go for the joke. You get a hey, you ever get a chance to kill a king? Do it. Right. And it's only it's Don't your son, so it, it's your it's Don't your son, so it ain't it. it ain't that bad. It's your son's blood, so. You know what I'm saying? I think I can't even put it into words. Like, like how proud it makes me that I didn't have to be on a wax song just because it's my son. You see right. what I'm saying? It Fact. makes me very, very proud that we did it because it was dope. You know what I mean? Uh, and I think I think he probably feels the same way. You know, he probably feel like, man, glad my dad ain't just some old whack ass motherfucker. So I got to do <laughs> shit. I got to do this for. You know, so I think um, it was, and my other son, he 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 produced the track. Uh, okay, Messiah, Messiah produced it. So it's the and and Deja, my daughter is um doing. She she wrote a poem for the outro. That's hard. Yeah. Generational wealth, man. 
Yeah, nepotism at his family. Family, family, family. So let's let's talk, let's talk football, man. Let's talk about these Falcons real quick, man. How you feeling? God damn. <laughs> what can we do? What we gotta do, Tim? What's up? You 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 be having the answers, Tim. What we gotta do, Such man? And we gotta put on some equipment, Tim. We gotta get out there, man. Just a, it's just an overwhelming sense of despair. Just, <laughs> oh, just took me over, just did. You know what I'm saying, man? Look, we got every reason to be optimistic, man. We still have you know phenomenal talent on the team, man. Julio. Uh, Todd Gurley and others. I don't want to start naming names because I'm forgetting somebody. I right. mispronounce somebody's name. Uh, but we need leadership. Like the team needs leadership. It, you can have the most talented pieces on your on your board, but if, if it ain't the right person directing it, and that could, that comes from the top down, or GM, coach, quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Owner. You dig know what I'm saying? Right. Um. But I think that, you know, at least it's being acknowledged that the necessary steps should be taken to move toward a path of change. Yeah. So this is a big thing that everybody yeah. talk yeah. about. How do you personally feel as far as should we keep Matt Ryan or let him go? No. Which is no? no. Which one is no? No. No. We do not keep Matt Ryan. I don't okay. think. Okay. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I mean, I just don't think. Like, I feel like to be honest with you, just me being, you know, selfish. And what nice. I know this city needs, man, we need somebody that's a little more Cam Newtonish. Right. You know what I'm saying? I agree we with you. We need something that appeals not only to the the tenacity of of the, the the fans and the team, but we need somebody that appeals to the culture. Facts. Like the culture of this town is, you know, hey man. There's never been a more celebrated and supported quarterback in Atlanta since Mike Vick, or but Mike Vick in history. In the history of the Falcons, Mike Vick is the most supported and celebrated quarterback the Falcons has ever had. That's right, because facts. the culture got behind him. That's because right. the culture celebrated him. That's because, of course, with his, you know, his, the accolades that came from his performance on the field, but he, he like he's a part of our culture. Facts. So we go in and then we don't care what game it is. Preseason. It's Mike Vick. Exactly. Be in there. You see, you see what I'm saying? We got the shoes on, the jersey, it, everything. It, and that's what that's what Atlanta deserves. You know what I mean? Um, somebody who can get out who can get out the pocket if if, if, if shit gets thick. You know what I mean? You can just sit there, like well, you know what I mean. Miss Pat said you got two left feet. <laughs> thanks, 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 man. So Libra's out right now. Y'all make sure you get that, man. I appreciate you checking in with me. You know what I'm saying? Tuning in is always a pleasure to, when we run across each other in the city and in these streets, man. Y'all yeah. always been 1,000 with me ever since I got to Atlanta. So I definitely got to salute you, King. Man, all right, all right, man. Salute you, man, for all your efforts. Because, you know what I'm saying? All the all the things that you do, even outside of just, you know, entertainment. Like, you know, you, you, you have a sense of giving back. That's for sure. Important. For you sure. Well, I appreciate you, big dog. Take it light. There it is. T.I., ladies and gentlemen, it's hot.